It was a silent Sunday here in Nashville as the Titans enjoyed their bye week and now they get set for a 13 week grinder starting next week when they host the Buffalo Bills at Nissan Stadium. Both Tennessee and Arkansas will look to put a charge in their respective seasons when they meet tomorrow in Knoxville. The two and two Vols could very well be 4 0 were it not for fourth quarter collapses against Oklahoma and Florida. Keeping your composure, something that's a little easier said than done on a football field. The Titans will need to keep a cool head this Sunday when they host the Buffalo Bills. Nashville's boys of winter are officially back. The Nashville Predators set to open the regular season tonight here at Bridgestone Arena against the Carolina Hurricanes. And although it's only one game out of an 82 game regular season schedule, the Preds say a good performance tonight could set the tone for a good season ahead. And Jonathan, certainly the Titans would love to have a healthy Jason McCourty back for the rest of the season. It's always great to get your perspective on this team. You're on the sidelines for Titans radio. You see what goes on. You look at this defense. Dick LeBeau comes in and I know a thing or two about Dick LeBeau defenses from my years in Pittsburgh, and it's all about stopping the run, getting after the quarterback and getting turnovers. And we've seen some of that this year. Both Tennessee and Arkansas will look to put a charge in their respective seasons when they meet tomorrow in Knoxville. The two and two Vols could very well be 4-0 were it not for fourth quarter collapses against Oklahoma and Florida. Head coach Butch Jones says finishing games is something his team can and will learn to do. You know, if you look at the body of work of this coaching staff, I want to say we were 50 something in four of having a lead going into the fourth quarter. And I've never been through anything like this. Uh, neither have our players in terms of this. And football rewards diligence. Football rewards those individuals who persevere. And the only thing I can say is keep working. Keeping your composure, something that's a little easier said than done on a football field. The Titans will need to keep a cool head this Sunday when they host the Buffalo Bills. The reason? The Bills are the most penalized team in all of football. Buffalo committed a whopping 17 penalties last week in their loss to the Giants. Things got really chippy as well toward the end of the game, something the Titans players say they are aware of. You know, as a man, somebody you know, comes, comes up to you and they're yapping or they're, they're hitting you late, you want to you know, retaliate. But like you said, you got to uh, maintain your composure because the ref always catch the second. They always catch the second person throwing the punch. You know, we don't want to hurt ourselves. Uh, uh, not saying we're going to get pushed over by anybody, but at the same time, we're going to play uh, within the whistle uh, as much as we can. And Nashville's boys of winter are officially back. The Nashville Predators set to open the regular season tonight here at Bridgestone Arena against the Carolina Hurricanes. And although it's only one game out of an 82 game regular season schedule, the Preds say a good performance tonight could set the tone for a good season ahead. Players work hard in training camp and they want to be successful on a nightly basis. Tonight's the first night. I think there's always a, a little bit more excitement that goes with that because it's opening night and um, you know, everybody wants to get off to a good start. You know, it's better to get off on the right foot and set yourselves up because it's, uh, it's tough if you start off slow. It's tough to dig out of that hole and uh, you know, sometimes you, you can't even do that. I think every team uh, takes pride in playing at home and uh, you want to make it a tough place to play. You don't want teams to come in here and think it's going to be an easy night. They, uh, you know, you don't want them uh, thinking about how hard it's going to be. You know, it's obviously a big game tonight, but we want to get on a roll and feel good. And um, you know that, you know that feeling um, is good to get early on and, and uh, starts tonight. It's really exciting. It's really exciting. You know, we worked all summer to, to this point and to have stuff, uh, you know, start to count and. and um, you know, start getting some wins in the win column and, and get moving. It, it's going to be fun. Uh, last season, we were playing some great hockey. Um, you know, we were having a lot of fun and, and, and uh, you know, we were winning a lot of hockey games last year. So we keep that same uh, mentality going into, going into this season, and especially tonight. Um, just take out the first period and uh, we'll go from there. And if you're heading to the game tonight, the Predators will have a special gift for you when you arrive at your seat. These rally towels. They want to make opening night feel like a playoff game. Puck drops just after 7.05 at Bridgestone Arena. John Burton, News Channel 5.